so when you are done with the part of the software development or I, if i say if you are working on a feature of a software development and you are done with the development next step you do you raise a pull request to get the review comments on the on those source codes that you have written so that uh, there is, if there is any major error that can be avoided before sending that code to production or any main branch of the version control system whether it is github or bitbucket whether whatever you are using so imagine in the pull request uh, you are getting the review comments like uh, there are spelling mistakes there are you have import packages but you are not using that in your class you have defined a method but you are not using that so you should delete that one so see these are the things that are very silly right and at the same time very difficult to avoid for any developer right so is there a way that we can automate these things is there a, any tool out there that we can configure because when we say it to machines when we say it to software tools that you do this uh, check for the code quality check for the any unused import check for any method unused and check for code reusability if we configure that rule into a software tool that is not going to miss anything we as a human know that these things should not be done uh, while doing the coding but still it happens uh, without knowing without us knowing it, human error is a kind of thing that that we cannot beat or we cannot avoid but softwares come into picture in these cases right when we say that uh, a particular software is doing this it is doing that no matter what so coming to the point so these silly mistakes and these uh, this normal these minor things can be reviewed by the tools that are out, out there so one of that tool is this sonar cube right that can help in doing reviewing our code in one way and reviewing the code in such a way that you have written your code and it is not executing any test or any automation test any manual test or any integration test to check your code but it is checking the line of code whatever that you have written that is known as static code analysis when you are running the test cases against your code you are not seeing the code that is the runtime analysis of your code that this is the bug and these are the things these are the expected features that were uh, that were about to come but they are not coming and then you go and fix that but with the static code analysis it is not the case it is tested against the codes that you have written it goes and sees that you have looks into that you have written you, are, you have written this class class name is this these are the methods these are the imports and checks those against predefined rules predefined configurations there are security vulnerabilities and there are best practices that has to be followed and all of these things can be configured with the sonar cube and it can help a lot and it can save uh, very much our uh, reviewer team time and your own time as well so before sending the uh, code to review or review team you scan your code with the sonar cube and fix the code uh, that is uh, that is suggested by the sonar cube tool as applicable right so in this video i am going to introduce sonar cube its documentation how you can set up locally how you can integrate it with the uh, spring boot microservices and see the things uh, working there is code coverage matrix also you can combine the code coverage from different microservices different pro projects into a single sonar cube dashboard right so that you can see at one place it is going to be very helpful so let me go ahead and show you what is the sonar cube and how it is helpful for us first let's cover few points so this is an open source platform developed by sonar source for inspection of code quality second point it performs the automatic reviews that i just explained to you but it, it, it asks you to fix the minor errors it asks you fix the security vulnerabilities that are there how it does that it is static analyzes of code to detect bugs code smells code smells is there are minor errors that can be fixed that uh, there are, if there are code improvements like if you are version java 8 uh, version java version 8 but you are uh, using the standard of java 6 or 7 so if you are not for example if you are not using lambda but anonymous implementation of a class it can suggest you that you can use the lambda instead of this one right 
all these cases is can suggest to you so sonar cube is in the market from long time so it has uh, evolved over the time right so it is a very intelligent at this moment of time and evolving uh, by the time it can also detect the security vulnerabilities and it's not about the java it's not about only the java language but it is supporting 20 plus programming languages right and sonar cube offers a report on duplicate codes like if you have written a same piece of code at different uh, different locations in your projects it can detect and say that you refactor your code and extract it into a method and use that wherever you are using that one it is uh, it can give you the report about coding standard unit test how many unit tests are you have you written there it can give you that it can make your code coverage report more readable and more analyzing it can contain the history of the code coverage that over the time how your code coverage is improving all those things code complexity it can report about that one code complexity means in a method if you are written some business logic to validate some things where you are using while loop for loop many things are nested into a, it is possible right it happens so it can suggest to you that this is very complex and not maintainable it also gives a, a parameter to each uh, each complexity right and if that threshold is increasing by the some by some limit it is going to alarm you for that one right and it can also uh, give you the uh, comments uh, it can also review the comments bugs and security vulnerability so sonar cube is going to be very helpful so this is about the theory so now let me show you let me go ahead and show you how you can set up it locally and uh, play around with this one how you can integrate with the spring boot this is official portal of sonar cube where you can find the details so coming down uh, this this is the sample page when you scan your source code with the sonar cube and see the report this is something this is the snapshot of that that they have added so this is how it looks like reliability bugs security maintainability even it gives you the times that how much time it can take to correct the fixes and to correct the security hotspots and vulnerabilities that it has reported so this is nice thing that they are giving and this is the source code analysis that is there so even if uh, they are marking it properly and saying that it's a null pointer exception or any other that is applicable and if you click on that one this one you will get the nice explanation for that one that uh, the code that is not uh, as per the standard and the sample solution for that so we can relate and fix the R code properly right so coming further down so continuous code inspection Thousands of static analysis code rules protecting your app on multiple fronts and guiding your team code reliability Application security and technical depth make sure your code base is clean and maintainable to increase developer velocity So not 1 to 10 but 27 programming language So any language probably you can think of that popular pro programming language this library is supported this server is supported with that one So this is going to helpful for that as well not only Java so your workflow enhanced CI/CD integration and all these things open source routes and coming here so there are different options to download this is the community edition free and open source and apart from that they also need money so they have paid version as well developer enterprise and data center edition so I'm, we are going to download this one get started now open this one download this community edition i already have downloaded this one you download this one so whether you are on windows linux or any other operating system that it has so everything is in this one so there is nothing else so when you download this you will get this zip file here sonar cube this one when you extract this one you will get this folder this is the folder structure how it looks like bin conf data so for now let me go to the startup file directly here i'll show i'll show you the uh, customization of this one a bit later there are different options linux mac os and windows in our case it's windows and coming here there are different files and just to start this one everything is self-explanatory here start sonar.bat before starting this you should check the environment variable so the version that we have downloaded of sonar cube is 8.4.1 and with this only uh, java 11 or later versions uh, when you have version of when you have java 11 or later only then you can use this one otherwise you have to download some previous version that is uh, uh, for example 6 uh, 
so in our cube 6 or 7 right so i'm checking this environment variable and if i see here java home it's set at jdk 13 so i have jdk 13 so i am good to go and just to cross check i can go here cmd and before start triggering starts on our i can check java version so yes it's properly coming jdk 13 right so now click start sonar bat so this file is to be triggered so everything is fine java version and all those things so it is going to st start the local server local server of sonar host for us so elastic search is up so the files are being loaded into the system this it is it starts quickly hardly one minute and one and a half minute still waiting okay so when the startup completes uh, by default sonar cube is going to run on port 9 triple zero yeah it's hopefully started now let me go me here and show you local host 9 triple zero it is loading it started now it is loading now so now you will be starting yes it is up go home so it is automatically redirecting to the dashboard so this is the dashboard of Sonar Cube that you get when you first start up in your local system and you can see the projects, bugs, vulnerabilities, codes and login, there are account settings as well, right? So how many languages it is supported, quality model and all those things. So under projects, uh, you will see the number of projects that has been scanned by Sonar Cube here. You will see the all the issues listed here. You will see the rules that you can configure here, right? So rules for everything java python and for java you can see there are total five seven six rules already configured against which your source code is going to be a validated right and uh, if i apart from languages if i so there are uh, these type of bugs bug vulnerability code smell and security hotspots so the definition of bug when it will be considered at as bug when it will be considered as vulnerability all the rules are defined here so you can go ahead and check out the individual one so here is the information about tags uh, like owsp so when there is any issue in your source code uh, uh, which one is the best uh, best for that one that tag is going to be appended with those issues so that you can check more about that one and these are the repositories default severity uh, blocker measure info and all those things so this is the measure of the uh, some criteria that they have defined on which uh, it is uh, considered as major minor critical or uh, blocker these are the information about repositories sonar security categories sonar source weak cryptography authentication these are the internal things that are there against which it is going to uh, scan the source code see if i open here quality profile i'll get the more detail here i can see different quality profiles with respect to the languages that they have c hash css flax uh, go html jsp java and all those things right and here is the quality gate by default it is the configuration right so so this is how the tabs and all these all those things are here and one more thing here uh, so this is embedded database should be used for evaluation purpose only so when you uh, when you set up uh, sonar cube locally on your system it is going to use uh, internal database which is h2 right and when if you want to configure it for production purposes you have to configure the uh, supported databases uh, by the sonar cube and supported databases are postgres oracle mysql is not supported with that one oracle i have not configured in my machine that is i am una unable to show you but i'll show you where to do the changes right so uh, just wait for that so this is uh, enough about the this portal let's scan a project with the sonar cube and see how it is working and how we can do that so before doing that let's see what project that i am going to explain into this this is the microservice testing that right now at the time of making this video this series is going on so i'm explaining everything about testing this is this video is part of that mock it to unit test and to do the testing and code coverage all those stuffs i have written one scratch microservice from scratch this is the video link for that one 
this is the unit test link for the same microservice and this is the video which is explaining how you can integrate the code coverage and you can uh, analyze the report for that one and, and integrate those one and this is the sonar queue the current video and the source code is here if you clone this one get this into your local machine this is the covid alert service uh, that is uh, that i am going to scan with this sonar queue right let's see how we do the, this so this is the project and there are no visible projects yet so this is the project and this is the project structure just let me brief you once what it is doing so this is the controller part alert controller covid alert controller we have a state wise and summary and these are the classes that are there these are the dtos these are the service this is the alert service is the class which has business logic about alert this is the covid 19 data provider which is contacting this api to get the data and pass this data to alert service to derive the uh, alert whether green red or orange label right and this is the uh, main java and this is the test folder which where i have written unit test cases this is the for controller i have written the integration test spring boot auto configure i have explained all of this in detail you can check out the previous videos that i just shown you this is the service and i have written the unit test cases in detail here uh, probably all the scenarios that are possible from uh, this source code this is the main class test here right so this is about the project right so now let's see how you can integrate uh, sonar cube how you can scan this one with sonar so coming to build.gradle here right so while integrating the while integrating anything with build or maven tool that you are using there are plugins with respect to that one which give you a handy task that you can trigger and the things are going to work properly with that one right so the the plugin id for the sonar cube is this one org sonar cube and version 3.0 Oh, I am giving it and I just refresh this one it is going to download the respective dependencies and it is going to add the task under gradle task right so let the let it download the dependencies I will show you the task under this one so yeah probably downloaded and sonar cube is listed here so this is the one task that is given by this plugin right so when I have added this sonar cube and that sonar cube task and I do not want any customization with this one it works along with so if you just want the static analysis of your code no code coverage it's okay so I, if I do not want the code coverage report here I can go ahead I can I just want to see the static analysis of our code so I can just run this task sonar or sonar sonar or sonar cube both are fine here right so i'm just running sonar what it is going to do it is going to do the analysis of your source code so by default the gradle structure that is there it follows it knows where the source code is right so it knows that source code is here src main java here right so for now we're not seeing anything here on project section when it is it is this task is done we will be able to see here so code coverage is one matrix uh, that you do and when you see the report uh, with uh, built, in, built in that is provided by the Jacoco that is hard to read that is less readable when you use sonar cube to read that report that is uh, that is improved they provide uh, more analysis on that one right so that's a nice way to see that and also if you have many projects many multi, uh, microservices you can integrate or you can have one place uh, view of all those coverage reports right so its task is complete let me refresh this one and show you this so it is saying that project is not analyzed yet so because it is just pushed the portal it is going to take some time yeah now the details are here right so i can see i can i can uh, get the overview here uh, from looking at this one bugs vulnerabilities hotspot code smells coverage is zero percent this is about the jacoco that i was talking about in a bit i am going to integrate this one duplication is here and line of number of line of codes here if i open this one quality gate it is passing this one right so it's uh, and then, so these are the overall things that are here 
right so this is about the new code so new code is there uh, i mean so initially when you have 100 lines of code and in the second push you integrated 10 lines of code so under this new code you will see that in those 10 lines how many issues are there right so it can separate the boundaries properly so that you can separate the things properly right so you can find out easily where the issue is you will find that it the issues in the new code only you do not have to see the overall code overall matrix you can see here if i come this come to this tab it is going to show me the all the vul vulnerabilities that are there right so vulnerabilities two so it is saying that make this method public so if i click this one it will open the respective file here i can see this is the alert controller and here i am no, i have not made it public that is why it is saying and i can click on this one why this issue and i can find the details uh, why it is uh, giving it so non compliant example and compliant solution so i have to add public in controller so you have to remember anything in controller that is being uh, that you have annotated with get mapping or any endpoint you have to do the public one right so uh, vulnerability and all those things same thing is with this one as well right so this one and duplicated block of code is also here uh, it is saying that this state data is duplicated and why this and you can see all of this and where is the other with which it is uh, getting checked that duplicate means there are same code at two places where is the other whereas where is the other place uh, where that same code is how we can uh, how we can find that so when you come down here you will see this one as well right <coughs> so summary data is here and this get update time and all those things get total set total confirmed cases and the same thing is here under the state code so you you should look into this and if it is uh, it is uh, it is reasonable you put this because sonar cube is doing it is in their own way but you think you decide that it should be this way that's okay and when you decide that it should be in that way you should have a way to ch to to tell sonar that it is okay for me you you don't have to worry about that right so for that for that piece of thing uh, to tell sonar that it is okay you are saying that here is a issue but i want to live with that so how to do that so how to avoid that so there are two issues reported by this alert alert controller one i am fixing this public and second that is the summary data i am not fixing it i want to say that it's okay for me uh, to live without public so no sonar no sonar is the line with this comment in this comment in the same line if you say no sonar it is going to tell sonar scanner that this line is uh, not an issue for the developer do not scan do not report this one right uh, that uh, developer had seen this and he is uh, ready to live with it right so we are just going to see we will be not seeing this vulnerabilities in uh, scanning in the subsequent uh, scanning that we do right so just keep in mind so this duplicate blocks how we can fix it I'm also showing you how you can fix it. So country data we have, we have a state data. So we, I can see that there are under a state data. If you remember that video, there are few things that are common and few, few things different. If I show you summary data, we have total confirmed discharge. And this is the one thing confirmed, but location unidentified is the different thing, right? So, but these things, these four, five things are same. Three, two, five, total confirmed death discharge confirmed confirmed discharge death location so what if i can have a base class and extend these summary data and uh, uh, state data from there right so we will be having one class and we will be doing the inheritance and other things so let's go ahead and create base data class i am uh, doing here and i am just doing the uh, just take three things from here control c and put it here confirmed cases indian i am just taking all the things here from here right and the second one is 
uh, this summary data right just take all the things from here and which are common just remove them which are common keep those one remove others right so uh, total so which are which are common there are these four things that are common other are different right so just keep these one and remove others keep this one right so alt insert getter and setter right so this base data class is ready and i have to remove these four things from individual classes here right so we have deaths removed death discharged confirmed cases foreign and confirmed cases indian so all these things are removed right so i have to remove the respective getter and setter as well so for now just remove everything and create a fresh getter setter and same thing i have to do in summary so before doing that so this is state data now i have to extend base data class right so now we have everything right so but we just uh, exported all those data in base da base data class now remove the things that are in base data class from here as well so confirmed cases indian foreign discharge deaths so all these things that are there that i do not need so do the same thing here as well remove this one alt insert getter and setter and extends base data class right so everything is fine now so doing any changes you should uh, run the classes and see everything is fine or not right so you should check that so in a while i am going to check that just fixing this one for now so this duplicate issue is fixed now so here another and uh, again we have this one covid 19 data provider it is saying this finalist thing url so it is saying that make this final field static too right so you can see the reason why it is here by clicking on here so just fix this one as well so we have covid 19 it is here under data provider and final static right so i have so it is saying that this context load is there so it is saying that if it is test at least add one assertion to this test case right so basically this test context load it uh, testing that uh, uh, spring boot test it's for that one so it is uh, uh, just testing that context is loaded into the system or not when a server is starting it is starting properly or not so if i show even test code it is analyzing right test is written properly or not right so it is doing just that one so i can if it is scanning that one i can just uh, it is scanning this one as test so i can say that do not scan this one right so from the next scanning result i should not see this these one so so far we have placed at uh, sonar to tell that do not include these one in the report so i have added to place it remove this public a modifier from here alert controller test it is saying that why this issue so you see the examples here right you should remove this public controller from here and remove this public so all the test classes that are there it is saying that remove the public modifier from there right so you just go here you can see the reason what reason it is giving for that one public and this one so i am just fixing this one so that we can see that there is zero vulnerabilities fixed right so we have fixed almost everything from here right so all the issues are fixed here and here i can show you the code as well code smells and all all those things it is showing you directly here 
and here there is column for the coverage but we have not pushed the coverage itself uh, for now that is why it is showing 0% alert controller I can see when you open this you can see the proper error and when you click on this you will get all the details right here so this is how you can see the report and fix each one properly by seeing uh, by seeing this report right so I have fixed the pretty much things here so now let me before pushing this report let me integrate the code coverage as well right so if you remember from the previous video when we added this Jacoco plugin we did some customization as well right so uh, for example I added some report directory so sonar by default it is going to work the default configuration for Jacoco as well right so I have to remove this one and Jacoco test report be configured and here we have XML enabled as false so Sonar cube is going to read the XML report that is being generated by Jacoco and it is going to interpret that so I just have to mark it true CSV enabled that's okay I do not need it and HTML destination file just remove this one as well so it is going to read this one but any customization I do not want with Jacoco right so now it is also ready to read the coverage report as well so now when I scan it again I will be able to see everything uh, coverage as well right so uh, so to see the Jacoco coverage I should also create the Jacoco report as well so I am going to run the complete build uh, this time so we have done some code changes as well uh, by extending this one if there is any problem the tests are going to fail as well so gradle test and after test create the sonar so when test is going to generate it it is going to run the coverage cover Jacoco as well because in test task I have this finalized with Jacoco test report right so just run this one it is going to do the other job properly okay so test executed properly so uh, the changes that we did it is not breaking anything So sonar cube task is running now you can see here so yeah so it has pushed uh, all these codes and all these so missing blame information for the following files are here so if you do not push the files into some csv or github something that is why it is given so that's not an issue to look into right so just go and refresh this one the project file is here so, yeah it is refreshed so I can see 92.8 percent duplication 0 percent I can see still there are four code smells and no vulnerabilities earlier there were vulnerabilities right so if I open this one I have new code here right so six minute three new code smells coverage is it is showing that 100% uh, because it's the second scan and there are no uh, new lines added duplication uh, zero percent right and if I come again under issues here so here I have new vulnerabilities here so zone time date we have it is saying COVID-19 data provider here it is saying something uh, some problem here it is saying that this URL rename this constant name to match the regular expression yeah so constant name should be in capital letter right so that is why it is saying that one capital letter and in this format Yes, it is also saying the reorder the modifiers to comply with the Java language specification. So we have said that final is static, but it should have a uh, static final. So, so these are the things that I told you in the starting of the video, right? So th these are the silly comments that you are going to receive that uh, constants should be in capital letter and all those things. Now, Sonar Q is doing all those tasks, right? So you can go ahead and fix that one and see that there is zero error. So reorder modifier and re this remove this is unused import unused import also I was talking about right so this DTU is there so let me do all these things right so base data class is there uh, let me make it at zero vulnerabilities right so so the shortcut for that is control alt so just remove this one and other thing it was saying that COVID-19 data provider reorder this one static final and make it now rename it refactor rename and make it 
you are right so everything so all the three issues fixed now and you can see uh, under alert controller i have not fixed this one right no sonar i am saying so it has accepted that one right so there is no uh, complain about this one let's see other so all the issues one of four issues uh, it is still saying this one because it is at this line so we have added sonar at this one so i should have added at this line so let me change that one yes so at which line it is saying you should add at that point right so all the issues fixed here security hotspots there are no security hotspots measures uh it is there coverage 80% and it is also going to keep the uh, keep the record how many times you have analyzed your codes right so you can see the activity here the so first time here 916 pm 930 pm was this one you can see all the history and the progress about the uh, code smells and code quality uh, graphical in this one right and code i have shown you you can see this as well now coming to this coverage part here coverage 92.8 percent it is showing if you click this one and it is also showing you the number of unit test cases right so how many test cases that you have written here no overall code here yeah, number of unit test cases right so if i click this one i get the details and it is also saying so which classes are covered under test these are the classes that are 100 percent coverage and these are the alert service covid dp data and this this much percentage right so if you open individual file as i have shown you in the code coverage uh in the code coverage that is inbuilt with this one if i show you this one you can compare and see the difference So this is the XML that is generated by this one. And that is why we are able to see that one. This, this, this. This is the by Jacoco plugin itself, right? So this is the thing that you are seeing here. Only this line. If you open individual classes, you will see more detail about these one, right? So individual things, individual methods, and all those things, right? So the same thing you are same data. Uh, Sonar is reading from this plugin as well, but it is showing you in the web format properly, right? So you can see each one here. So you can see this that this line is partial covered uh, covered by three or four conditions. So one condition is missing. You identify that and fix that one as well. So it is not always possible to cover the hundred percent code coverage. That's okay. So that is why you put the eighty percent, eighty five, ninety percent coverage criteria to pass the code quality. right so this is this is how you can go with the with the other classes and see individual one uh, for example uh, other one that it is 69.2% coverage so which one are missing its success is missing this dtu is not being used not anywhere so how, uh, all these things are here so the point is how this you can see the report properly and analyze code and fix that one right so we have fixed few things here so let me do one more thing here let me push the code once again so before posting the code once again to see the quality let me show you some uh, let me show you some more customization with sonar cube that you can do right so this is the embedded uh, local sonar setup that you are doing where you do not need the login information because this is the web portal right so you need some here is the login information right you can log in by default you have admin and admin as a password right so you have admin as username admin as a password right so if i logged into the system i can see the admin console here i can see that this project settings here right i can go ahead and uh, there are different options here with this covid alert service i can delete this one with this uh, option right It will be deleted and other uh, things i can see from here right and i can go and uh, check out the admin properties that i can see so login and this scm account security i can generate the individual token this is the token that i generated uh, before start when i first started on my local machine you can change the password from here right and you can see the uh, set up the notification here and to set up the notification you just have to configure the email provider as well and these are the projects uh, projects list that you get here right 
and under notification you can add a project uh, option here you, you click on this one uh, search a project by name java so no covid so all the projects that are there uh, in the system you can add here in the uh, notification notifications per project so it is about the notification email that you get for which this configuration is there so background task failure i can check uh, new quality gate status and all those things so it is going to inform me through the mail for that one right uh, this is the admin properties that you can check out by logging into the system so uh, the point was if your uh, sonar server is secured and there is some login information that is needed you should pass that one as well by default it is going to use the admin admin that is there uh, and while doing in the local host it is not going to even consider that it is going to post that but if you are in corporate and enterprise but so there is dedicated server hosted their enterprise edition of this an is uh, probably running you need that one so how you can pass that information from the your project right so these are the configuration for that one that you should pass so sonar cube is the task that is there and how this is you are passing the property this is how you pass the project name so by default it is going to take the covid alert service that in settings dot gradle it is there this name but if you want to customize that one give it more uh, clear name you can give this one and sonar project name is there there are other informations as well in a while i am going to show you that in the documentation section you have branch name as well so you have there are uh, in a single project there are multiple feature branches different teams working on that you can use that one but this option is not available with the um, community edition you if you are using the paid version developer edition you can check this one so now just i just used it uh, for the sake of information so now host url you can configure the custom url here so if i give incorrect url it is not going to post it so i do not want to fail that so 9000 so this is a sonar login where you give the token information right the token that you are, are uh, generating here if your uh, if your system is secured uh, portal is secured you create the token from here and you use that token if i want to generate some token from here i can use this one and this is the token that i have to give i have to pass here to give for now it is not going to consider that because it is open for this one right so this is how you can this pass this information so this information we are going to see in our service so that name will be changed to this covid alert service probably it should change right and these two configurations uh, this sonar customization i have done and the fix that i have done that i am going to see here right so just run this again So also if you want to make your uh, source code uh, code coverage 100% now you can see at which point uh, you have you should run uh, you should add the tests right and if i go ahead and comment out some of the tests from here how it is scanning that is part of the code coverage report whatever is reported by that one it has just read that so if i comment some of these one these files it is going to reduce the coverage report right so that's obvious so initially it is easy to increase the coverage right so when you are starting first test cases but when it is reached 70 80% it is difficult to raise beyond that one so you should uh, it is uh, because you just have to deep uh, read deep into the source code and see which scenarios are missing and this sonar cube is uh, giving you the more information about that that which scenarios are missing so now i can see there are uh, 0% duplications and earlier there were four code smells now one code smell is there i can see the name change here i can mark it as star here i can make it favorite here so this is the sonar host portal so if i open it i can see uh zero new code smells but one was uh initially there let me show you that what is that so this at least this is like this is still not read by this one so sometimes it happens so i don't know how oh, this is sonar why it is not being read by that one but in case of controller it is working right so 
this is how you can read this one right so this is about sonar cube and how you can integrate uh, the gradle project or even maven project as well i'm going to show you the documentation for that with this one how you can read the report so this is what i planned for and i have covered about this one the integration and how to read this project cube you see this portal here and if you open this one and project information from here you can see this uh eagle eye from here and project settings general settings you can see from here and yeah general setting this is important cross project duplication so like uh, one project to second project if you can do that or not that is also not right because you have two microservices you want to see the duplication between one and two so it is this deprecated feature as well right? so you should default assignee if there is any issue you want to assign it to someone some user you can assign that as well so these are sub projects label and here analysis scope different settings you can see here housekeeping is important here so it uh, how uh, many analysis that you want to keep how many um, history how much history you want to maintain in, to your sonar all these things information are here you can enable that one and configure that value here so this is about the jacoco plugin uh, if it is there xml report path customize that you can as well here so these are the languages uh, that are there if you can configure that if you want the specific one here right so these are the different tabs here if i am missing something you go ahead and check out that see any issue put that in comment section explore and uh, definitely resolve the issue we will discuss that now it's all done now coming to this section and coming to documentation section this is the last thing that i wanted to cover uh, nee no, not the la last thing but uh, still a uh, few things to cover this is the documentation that you can if you looking for some specific information you can see architecture integration i wanted to show you so this is how it checks that one right so so i hope it is visible to everyone let me increase the size so this is the java and all those files so this is a sonar cube scanner uh, that is scans this is a sonar cube server and this is the database where it is this is basically that you are seeing on the portal here uh, uh, at this point of time and sonar uh, uh, sonar scan is something that works on the back end and gives the data to the web server where it is showing you everything sonar cube plugins and all those things right elastic search and all those things implemented to give the efficient searching that you are doing here and this database integration by default in our case it is uh, working with the h2 internal database but we can configure that as well so supported servers are oracle ms sql and postgres sql mysql is supported but it is now deprecated that is not there right so these are the uh, this is the architecture diagram of this one and this is the integration thing that you can do with the git bitbucket or perforce that are the version control system that is there so sonar lint this is the important thing that i was about to miss but i am just going to show you so sonar lint is you can integrate it in your ide and you can locally check the code quality and then post to uh, sonar cube right this is how you can do that and then you do this in sonar cube here and you post the code here uh, right and you have some ci cd setup you do this one as well and post the analysis to server so this is how it goes you are the user these are the five you do the local checking second thing you post that in the git and uh, all version control system whatever you are using and then ci cd is going to pick pick that one so automatic build and code analysis is going to be done by that one and this ci cd system posts the report to sonar cube portal where you see the codes and this sonar cube while scanning those reports and all those things it posts same thing in the database that you have configured to maintain the data right so if there is any issue with the sonar cube that data is safe with the database right and this is the things that you can read about this this is about the architecture and the second section that i wanted to show you this user guide here right so clean as a project portfolio issues and this quality gate information you can see built in security related activity sonar lint smart notification built in rule tag quality gates information you can get more information here and metric definition how each things it defined you can see here so the formula and all those things are here properly what is the code smells right so and how it is defined here it is the technical depth and all those things all these things are defined here you can go ahead 
so concepts are coming here bug issue and what is meant by each word that is there it is defined here right so activity and history is here events you can see this quality profile and gate information security reports visualization information you can see here right so i have just shown you set up and upgrade so install the server section here yeah this is the thing that i was looking for so these are the databases that are supported microsoft sql server oracle postgresql right so this is if i want to configure this one i have to see this one oracle jdbc driver so it is something missing here so postgresql microsoft sql it is giving me here and installing sonar queue from the zip file so coming down yeah it here it is so if i want to configure the this postgresql it is saying where to go sonar cube home from where you are installing it there is folder conf and sonar dot properties where you have to add these properties right so let me show you that so this is the uh, installer directory here bin and here coming here here is the conf and here is the sonar dot properties right here is uh, main information are there right so a lot of configuration to do so what it is saying uh, that you have to change this sonar just search for postgresql you will get everything so here is the information you just have to comment this out if you have postgresql locally running you just have to Okay, you just have to uncomment this one and add this information, right? So, and if there is any username, password for the database, you just have to provide that. And this is the URL that you have to configure that, and it is going to work properly. If you uncomment this, when Sonar is starting, it is going to detect that. If it is not properly configured, it is going to fail. In my case, it is not configured, so I'm just going to uncomment that. In the same way, you can configure. others as well right so jdbc driver and this elastic search and starting the web server all these information are there so this is how you can configure the database right and the last thing uh, so this is about this one and this is the wrapper conf other file uh, this this has other configurations as well so this if you want to give the custom path for the java you can configure from here these are the other informations that are here the libraries and all those things that are that it is using you can check the configuration from here right and last thing the coming to ide here if you want to use the uh, you want to analyze the source code locally how you can do that so just go to settings page here and go to plugin section and the search for the sonar lint this is the thing you can see the popularity 2.7 million downloads so if you're using the uh, if you're using I, I intellij it is there eclipse if you're using that uh, the respective id it also should have there right so it is just installing that now you have to do it is going to install that and you just have to restart your id so that it can uh, uh, it can configured itself properly with the ide so it is asking me to restart the ide so just restart it so ide is started now now i can see this tab here sonar lint right so it is right there. so if i so gradle build is uh, just finishing up so wait for that to complete so the indices are it is waiting for the indices to complete so these are the different tabs here report logs and all those things yes current file the analysis done on the current opened file there are no mm, what it is saying select an issue so rules and location there are no issues uh, in this one reports it is saying no nothing to display here logs it is saying that how why uh, what it is doing so it has analyzed so far two files right here so let me open a file where there is an issue so i know where it is Uh, so there is one problem with this one right so it is saying that add at least one assertion to this case so why it is not so now i can just check the so still it is saying sonar 
So if you do any changes, it is going to detect that one, right? So yes. So I don't know why it is not detecting, but it should have detected. So I know there is one more file that it's with some issue. So here it is controller, right? So we have added this on R here. So no issues found. Let me remove this one. It will say that there is one issue. If there is any change, it is going to detect that at runtime. So if it's saying about this public, right? So rule, it is specifying that one here. And with proper proper detail, it is saying why it, it, it should not be there, right? So fix that, this one, right? So it should now remove. So now you do not have to push the code to Sonar server just to check the static analysis. Now you have to push the code to Sonar queue just to maintain the quality, just to maintain just to maintain the history and code coverage history there so that other team members can see this one, right? So now if, uh, as many as microservices application you have, you push the data to the Sonar queue and see the report properly there, right? So I think I have covered a lot about Sonar queue, right? So it's uh, about one hour video. Uh, so still something missing, getting confused, put that in comment section. We'll be happy to help you out. So all other related videos are here in this portal. You want to check out other one? check out the channel here so i have a lot of loaded lots of videos about the microservices as well so i'll be seeing you in the next video with the next topic in microservices testing and this uh, next topic is going to be very interesting that is about the integration test i already have covered it is going to be about the mutation testing so whatever we have written unit test we have seen the code coverage and also we have seen that code coverage is not the only metric it's not always the only metric to cover to see the quality of the code. There are hacks that you can do with the code coverage as well. How to beat that uh, hacks? There are two. There is true coverage and false coverage. How we can uh, identify those one? There is another tool for that. So tool to to see some met metrics and how true that matrix is that. There is one more tool that is mutation testing. There is cycle of tools that is in, but when you learn once it, it is going to be very helpful in your software developer, development career, right? So, so I'll see you in the next video with this interesting mutation topic. Right? So take care. Bye-bye.